Um, so, so again, I'm back over in Nashville and uh, working with Brown and Gray again, who have become good friends actually as well. And the day that we were we were meant to write this song, it was actually interesting because it nearly didn't happen. Our schedules were, it was already difficult sort of matching our schedules up as it was and, um, and Chuggy had organised all these meetings for me on, on the same day. So I was meant to drive all the way out of town to their place to, to do this writing session and then I had to be way on the other side of town by another time to, to it was another meeting or, or something that I had to go to and, and and it was another one of those Nashville stories where it's like you're only in Nashville, you're not here every day and while you're here you have to make the most of every opportunity. So we, we made it happen um, and I'm so glad that we did because as it turned out we, we walked away with this track called Sparks Fly which funnily enough um, has was my first number one here in Australia um, and yeah, it just it's funny that it nearly didn't happen, but I just remember this um this little lick at the start. Uh, Damn girl you in my head, heart beating out of my chest. Baby, you got this span one and more. Ain't now I must confess, you're killing me in that dress. We all know what comes next. Yeah, damn right we do. So I took her to the floor. We got swinging back and forth. Sipping whiskey from the same glass, closing up the tab. Oh man, I think I love you. Sparks vibe 24 7. Doesn't matter where we go with you, you know. Up night, talking about nothing, just a bottle and a backseat duty. Yeah, you wake up and you're instant ready. What we got, don't need no edit. I light up at the fourth of July. When you live, speak my sparks vibe. There's that little hook at the end there as well. It's interesting. There was this guy who was involved in the whole um, whole thing at the time, and he was trying to tell us. Um, he was works for a record label over in the states. He was like, "What's that that little vocal hook thing that happens in the chorus? You got to get rid of that. Got to get rid of that. It's not going to work." And I was like, "No, that's the hook. That's the hook of the song." And we actually put our foot down on that one. I was like, "No, that's it's got to stay in there." And um, it's funny because that's the part when my kids. It's actually. Um, your kids are always a good barometer of your songs, and that's um, the part they always walk around the house singing that little that little hook at the end of the chorus. So I'm glad we left it in. Hey, 